This is my setup. What if I having all this expensive PC gaming equipment would switch to 2018 MacBook full time, which means I will be working on it and uh, playing, playing? Do, do you, in 2024, can you play on MacBook? I haven't opened this thing for ages. I thought about selling it for multiple times, but I wanna give it a last chance to stay. Let's change this to this. I think I have a first problem that the USB-C dongle I have has card readers, bunch of USBs, and only one HDMI. The only place I can put this Mac on my table is probably here there's practically no other place for it powered it up somewhere here i have one spare outlet here perfect i think i can put very short cable like this i don't need this one and it's pretty messed up so let's see if i have another short usb-c to usb-c cable not really to be honest oh, this one should work Is it charging? It is charging. Oh, look at that. It's perfect length. All three of my monitors currently connected via display port. So I need to use these HDMIs and probably just one because there's no other way I connect this to my Mac. I think I connect this here. It will be closer to the monitor and it won't be visible on the table too. Ideally you will see just these two cables and that's it. I need to make sure that would be enough. Yes. I love it when there's no extra cable that you don't need. Extra cable length that you don't need. I don't know how to connect it here. Oh, we can do it like this. Not perfect, but it will do right now. Should this work now? Oh, okay, now we're talking main display. I need to change source on my display because it was display port, now HDMI. So this is, now we're talking. Since I still want to play video games with my boys every night, I don't wanna unplug that much. To be fair, I don't wanna unplug anything. The best case scenario would be to have extra keyboard for Mac and uh, in this mouse that I have you can basically change sources on the mouse itself. Ideally this should means that by the time I'm finished working I change source for my monitor, I turn on PC, I change source on my mouse and I take another keyboard and I'm ready to play video games on my PC and then do the same thing other way around the next morning to work. I think I thought it through. This would be our extra keyboard. It has a USB dongle which currently in this computer so let's put it here. Keyboard setup assistant. Okay. Is it working? Hold on. Is it even on? Now it's on. Identify your keyboard. Press the key immediately to the right of the shift. <laughs> There's nothing to the right of the shift. Should I press this one? Key on the left side. That's nothing here <laughs> next to the shift on the left side either. What should I press? Nothing works. Is that even on? It is on. Maybe. Just maybe. I need to change batteries. Oh. My bad guys, that was a dongle for the mouse. <laughs> Let's find a dongle for this thing. Oh my God. It's not here. I don't even see it. Is there anything here? That could be a problem. Got it. But that means that it initially recognized my mouse as a keyboard. Press the key immediately to the right of the shift. Oh, to the right, it's Z. Oh, my bad guys. <laughs> oh, that's already uh, good. Good content for you, you know? Tech content you all deserve, guys. Press the key immediately to your left of the shift key on the right. Shift key on the right, left is a, oh, select the keyboard type. ANSI US keyboard, I have no idea. I love this one. All right, so what do we have here? First of all, we need to change the arrangement. Okay, arrange so that my mouse goes right 
over here. Oh, perfect. Done. 60 hertz, we can go. No, we cannot go all the way up to 165, which this display supports. But I mean, if you're not playing games, then probably you don't need that. All right, let's let's try to have a life. What do you say if we're gonna all try to have a life? You know, you're watching YouTube and you may be like, I'm, I'm spending too much time at the computer. Like, I need a life. I need to touch some grass. Like, what if we could have a life on MacBook. First of all, my sensitivity, I don't like the sensitivity of it. Like this is too much, this is too much, this, I'm changing DPI on the mouse itself. Oh my god, I can see like mouse is doubling. For the last few years I've been working on 120, 165 hertz, so you don't see a mouse doing this doubling. Ah, oh, you know the best part? The best part. I open my home app and I basically can do everything from my computer, like workstation. So I do this. Hold on. I need a webcam for my work. Let's waste another actually last USB that we have for the webcam. Hold on a second. But how would I, it will require me to change the webcam every time I want to switch to P. No, I don't need a webcam when I'm playing games. So we're leaving PC just for its initial purpose. PC is for gaming. The elite productivity and successful business people use uh, laptops from or computers from Apple. I, I really want to be one, so that's why I'm switching. Oh my god, it goes all the way here and there and it goes all the way over here. I don't want to deal with this. It's just easier to find another USB-C USB -C cable. Thankfully, I have plenty. <laughs> this is freaking 10 meters USB-C, USB-C, 100 watt. This is expensive. USB-C, USB-C, quite a long one. And then put it here too, and then... Uh, that's not USB-C. I do have a USB-C mother to USB-A father adapter. Should be somewhere here, should be some. I see you, buddy. Uh, there you go. Oh God, I need a camera operator. Uh, do we want to connect Ethernet here or just use a Wi-Fi? I have Ethernet connected to my computer, but that's just because I play competitive games online and like a ping and all that thing matters the most. But in terms of work, I don't think I need anything but Wi-Fi. Are we done? I'll be doing one, two, three. All right. I need to check if the webcam is working. How do I do that? How do, where's the settings? Why is it scrolling the other way? I'm scrolling down and it puts the list up. Natural scrolling. Content tracks fingers movement. Now it's turned on. Let's turn it off. All right, all right. I, I hear you, Apple. So you're saying, so I'm scrolling down and list goes up. It's a natural way, you Silicon Valley piece of rainbow. Natural scrolling my app. Excuse me, guys. Just too excited to try this out. Going, where is the webcam setting? Okay, general. Why did it all turn blue? I just opened the lid and it's all blue, very blue. FaceTime HD camera only. They don't have my Elgato camera. Do I need drivers? What is drivers? I don't remember what drivers mean. You ended your stories with drivers like in 2000, one. You know what? I'm gonna just go through one by one. Notifications. I don't think uh, webcam settings gonna be here. Game Center Wall, Apple Pay, Keyboard Mount. It's not even funny. I'm gonna Google it. Where is webcam settings on Mac? Yes. So I go here. System settings, privacy and security. Motion to camera. Oh, okay. That's not what I meant. If you don't see camera, upgrade to Mac OS Mojave or later. Mo 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 Mojave? Mojave? Which one do I have? Sonoma? Yeah, probably I need to update. Fair enough. It's probably better to upgrade, uh, update your computer if you want to work on it. So let's do this. Oh, I think I've missed a couple of updates. It's a Sequoia upgrade now. All right. 
All right, guys, talk to you later in a few hours. We're gonna reinstall Windows right now. I mean, uh, 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 reinstall uh, <laughs> Mac OS Sequoia 15.2. Point zero. Wait, do I even have the 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 most the freshest update available for this computer? This is MacBook Pro 15 inch 2018. We're gonna have to Google it. Mac Book 2018 latest OS. How do I know which one is the like they are giving all these freaking names? How do I know which one is the latest one? I'm updating to Sequoia. Is this the new one? Newest one? I gotta say it's downloading pretty fast. Please tell me if I'm updating to the newest one. <laughs> you see? I'm not stupid. The most searchable Mac OS something is Mac OS versions. Wikipedia is number one. So people confused which one is freaking the newest. 2018 MacBook updating to the freshest Mac OS, Sequoia. September 16, what? Release date six, September 16? That's today. I swear to God, I didn't know that. What a coincidence. I mean, it's universe tell, told me to update and switch to Mac. What are the odds? Wow. <laughs> I'm so inspired now. I'm ready to forgive you that I can still cannot find this freaking webcam settings. That's insane. While it's updating, I'm gonna just share with you that I'm a heavy user of smart home. My home is smart. I'm using it on my phone primarily and I'm gonna just underline and i'm not even exaggerating siri is the most stupid thing in the world thank you okay <laughs> it just said okay my pleasure even though that's pretty weird that i'm talking to myself and to my gadgets being all alone in this house and waiting for uh, the latest mac os sequoia 15.02 install I still appreciate you guys to support my channel, clicking all these likes and comments and shares. And by the way, that's a sneak peek of my smart home. If you want to, I can make another video walking you guys through the whole smart home, how it works, what does it do and what are my you know ideas for future updates because it's all oh, it's not done yet. Oh, for sure. Like I just need money. <laughs> Please subscribe to my channel. In the next episodes of this series, I'll be sharing my observations of working full time on this computer. Appreciate you guys.